Thank you. Uh, let me thank this pastor and his wife, co pastor, for letting God use them. And thank them for letting me and my wife feel like we're at home. Praise God. Amen. Thank you why come to church when you don't want to praise Him? Uh, I've been happy ever since I came in the door. Amen. Amen. And, and to, to, to see and hear the people of God praising God, uh, not apologizing about nothing. Uh, you don't have to apologize when you praise Him. And thank him. And I heard so many times when you look back over your life, see how God has brought you thus far. And when you think about what he brought you out of, you got a reason to praise him and, and thank him. So off your prayer and praise, Senator, you have done great works with your pastor for 21 years. Uh, I look back and I see this man of God step out on faith 21 years ago. And then God linked him up with his preaching partner. My, my, my. Come on. What a link up. What a link up. Come on. To, to be faithful in this ministry. And, and it's a good thing when you have people that love God's people. Yeah. They love you guys. And, and and I think when I look at them, they're still in love too. Come on now, man. You got a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and it's uh, genuine. Yeah. The way they love each other and the way they love you. Is the way God loves us. And, 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 and that's a blessing. 21 faithful years of, of, of being here in the ministry between the other church and this church. And I'm quite sure he's preaching before 21 years, but God laid upon him and his wife uh, the shoulders of carrying the word of God. It's, it's an honor, it's a privilege. For God to call you out to talk about Him. God makes no mistakes when He calls. Uh, we mess up and make the mistakes. But God does not make mistakes when He calls. He uses people if they let Him. And these two uh, champions of God's ministry being used by God, and everybody weeps the blessings. Everybody weeps the blessings when, 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 when they serve God. And, and Pastor and Sister Carlton, I really looked at this thing all week. I've been pretty busy. I've been to funerals, been to a banquet. And then I looked at what God has done for you guys in this church and in your life for one reason, and only one reason. God have done what he has done for the man of God and the people of God in this church. And he led me to a, a scripture in, in the book of Psalms. Uh, Psalms, uh, division 89, verse 1 and verse 2. And when you get home, you can read more. Psalms, division 89, verse 1 and verse 2. Man, you can raise, rise upon your feet for the respect of the word of God. I appreciate it. It reads this way from out of the King James Version, Psalms 89, 1 and 2. I will sing the mercies of the Lord forever. Come on now. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. 
For I have said, mercy shall be built up forever. Here it is. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in the very heaven. For a few minutes, I want to talk about God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness. Pastor Carter, I I, I went and read the Message Bible. The Message translation of the Bible, it reads this way. Your love, God, is my song. And I will sing it. I'm forever telling everyone how faithful you are. I will never stop telling the story of your love. One of God's many attributes and qualities is God's faithfulness. He is everlasting, he's good, he's holy, he's love, he's righteous, he's sovereign, he's merciful, he's true, and he's all-powerful. He is everlasting, and he knows everything. But here in the text, The song is focused on God's faithfulness. Faithfulness means dependable. And I don't know about you, but I can depend on God. Through the storm and through the rain, you and I can depend on God. Faithfulness means loyalty. God is loyal. He will never leave you or forsake you. He is the God who keeps his promises. Great is his faithfulness. God has to be faithful. He is committed. To faithfulness. His faithfulness is as dependable as the manifestation of the sun and the moon showing up. When we wake up in the morning, God is right there. When we go to bed at night, God is right there. God cannot be unfaithful. If we lose our faith, God is still faithful. The song was says, and he writes, and he picks up the pen. He's celebrating the reign of King David. And it tells that David was successful because God had been faithful to him. And the verse uh, we read is this. 20, this 89th chapter in the third verse, God says, I have made a covenant with David, my chosen servant. Well, Pastor, my God. I have sworn to him, I will establish your descendants as kings forever. Thou will set on the throne from now until eternity. When you die, you're going home. And then down in verse 33, God says, I will never utter, take my loving kindness from him, nor allow my faithfulness to fail. Listen to that God. We too are God's chosen servants. He chose us. We had had enough sense to choose Him. And because of that, 
there are some things that God will never take back. He won't take back His love for us. He won't take back His promises to us. And He won't take back His faithfulness towards us. Mm. The faithfulness of God is shown all through the word of God. Look at God. Pastor, it it blows my mind every time I look at him. I can't look nowhere without seeing him. (laughs) And and, and I looked at him and and I read the book from the top to the bottom, from the the beginning to the end. And, And you can't miss him. He starts out with a dark all over the place. How can anybody see when they can't see nothing? But God says, I think I'm just well, I'm moving. I think I want to move some things. God says, I want to move this darkness and put a little light into this universe. I, I, I want to separate the firmament from the earth and put some water so I can see the blue, free uh, animals and, and vegetables come up out of the water. I can see the whales and the fish popping up and down. I can see uh, the, the, the blue reeds and the green reeds in the bottom of the sea. I can see creatures that nobody knows that's down in the sea. And God said, let me just separate all this stuff while I'm moving at the same time. Only God, in his faithfulness, can make something out of nothing. Uh, God says, let me separate all this stuff because I want to do it, because I'm faithful. Once I do it, man can't change it. Man can't sit the sun down. Man can't sit the moon down. Man can't sit the time down. Man can't make this light turn into dark. Man has a switch. I got my hand. God is faithful in everything that he has created. And we can't do nothing about it. Do y'all see him? Do you see how faithful God is? That's why we're here this morning praising him. Great is his faithfulness. God was so faithful to Noah in the midst of the flood. God was so faithful to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God is faithful to Moses down at the Red Sea. God is so faithful that he let a little guy named Daniel get thrown in the lion's den. God has been faithful all through the years. And God has been faithful for 21 years to the people of God in this house of God. God cannot be unfaithful. His name is all over the place. Every book he's in it. Every hymn he's in it. Every mind, if you know it, it's in it. If you know God, you know that God is real. Can I get a witness? I believe that he has been so merciful to mankind because mankind can't do no better. Mankind cannot comprehend some of the things that God has done for him. Mankind takes God's rules and God's laws and God's gifts and make it his. But God has a way of reminding everyone who he is. God says, who made you? Where were you? when I made everything that you're looking at. And you got a nerve not to bow down to me, not to praise me, not to thank me. Who are you? I'm the God of heaven and earth. Where were you afraid when I created everything? So sit down and rest. I understand something. I went to the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter of Pastor Carpenter, and, and I read a little something. This is good for, for people to see how a pastor has to be. Uh, God in, in Ezekiel uh, told uh, Ezekiel, go down uh, and, 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 and talk to the Israelites for me. 
And, and Ezekiel struggled with that in that third chapter. And he said, no, I don't want to go down. But he went bitterly. He was bitterly going down to do what God told him to do. God told him that because God told him to go down and sit where they sit. Watch it. Come on. I said, what do you mean? He said, sit where they sit. And I really looked at that thing. And, and for us as, 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 as men and women of God, we have to sit where the people sit. How can we preach and we don't feel your pain? How can we preach to God's people and we don't struggle with the same struggle? Uh, you know something? To be and know what a sheep is, you got to smell like them. David and the shepherds, they picked up the sheep. And when they picked them up, they had the same odor. You can't be all clean trying to do God's work. You got to get down where the people sit down at. So the people can understand that you feel their feelings, you feel their emotions, and God will send you a man after his own heart. Oh, our job ain't up to be up here all the time. We got to get down there. And smell like the sheep. And the sheep don't smell good all the time. We got to get dirty. We... You you got to be in some hospitals holding people's hand when they're going through. You got to be in some hospitals when they pull the plug. You got to be there amongst the people of God. Oh. Great is his faithfulness to call fickle people like me, crazy people like me. Messed up people like me and straighten me up and place my feet on solid ground. God don't use perfect people. God used people that's been battered, bruised, and down and been through something. How can I help you and I ain't never been through nothing? You look at me now and I'm not what I used to be, but I done been through something. I know what it means to hurt. I know what it means to lose a job. I know what it means to lose a loved one. I know what it means to be down and out. I know what it means to do wrong and not right. But God, in his faithfulness, has a way of turning us around and using us in perfect people. But he makes us perfect in his sight. Mm. God is faithful. We too are God's chosen. As I said before, 21 years, God's been faithful to the people and the pastors of God. What a mighty God we serve. God's faithfulness is great. There's nothing little about it. Today we live in a Messed up world. Losing job, violence, people getting killed. Don't want people to come into the country that we don't own. 45 sitting in the White House. It's crazy. Everybody got a gun. Nobody want to love like we're supposed to love. Everybody want to fight. Everybody want to take without working. We live in a messed up world. Our young people are in trouble. And they need to see some light in this dark world. They need to see some love, some care in this dark world. They need to see some real people, not phony people. They need to see some people on their knees praying to the God that we love and that we serve. They need to see somebody there for them. Not just for yourself. That's the kind of world we're living in. But God is still faithful. Through it all. Oh, this world is messed up. Money's short. Job's tight. Family's coming apart at the scene. We hear of murder every day. But we have a God who knows all about it. 
He's still in control. And like the psalmist, we can praise God for his faithfulness. I'm only talking about God, y'all. I'm going to We're going to get it together here. Don't, don't get antsy on me. I'm going to talk about it. Praise him because even when the storms of life rages, God's faithful. He's been better to us than we can ever be to ourselves. And I know that's a true statement because when I was out in the world, I wasn't good to me. I thought I was. I was beating me up. But God was right there all the time. Go ahead and kill yourself, crazy boy. I'm going to let you hang in there for a while, but I won't let you die now. When you don't know no better, God will show you that you don't know no better. But when you find out and your eyes open up and you know who God is, you start doing better. Y'all been there? Ah. He's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. He's been better to us than we deserve. We deserve death. He gave us life. We deserve sorrow. He gave us joy. We deserve conflict. He just gave us some peace. Over and over and over again, God blesses us. When the doctors give us a bad report, God is faithful and he's turning around. When the money runs short, before the months end, God makes the way to pay our bills. When the friends don't understand you, God is faithful. Mother and father forsake you, God is faithful. When children don't act right and don't behave and acting all crazy, God is faithful. In the times of trouble, God is right there. He's faithful. Yeah, although I look over me and look over my life and over this world, when I behold who God is, my heart is made glad. I see violence and injustice, but then I glean at the Lord, and he makes my spirit sore. <laughs> if you want to get out of a slump, start looking for God. <laughs> if you want to get out of a down situation, start praising God. Start thanking God, and the problem you thought you had will go away. Because you just took your eyes off the problem and put your eyes on God. Too many of us go down with our head down every day complaining. Start looking up and telling God, I know you know what I'm going through. You did promise to come through. If you tell him, he will do it. For I know that my life is in his hands. And he is my strength and my hope. I know that in the end, I'm going to trump. Because God then gave me some hope. Praise God for his gratefulness. Praise him morning by morning. Because new mercies I see. Praise him for all that we have need. His hands have provided. Praise him for his great faith. He's faithful in forgiving of our sins. He's faithful in answering our prayers. He's faithful in defending our hope. He's faithful in keeping us from going crazy. He's a faithful promise keeper. God don't break promises. He's faithful in the times of temptation. He's faithful in all generations. He's faithful as Jehovah Jireh, my provider. He's faithful as Jehovah Nisi, my banner. He's faithful as Jehovah Shalom. Oh, he gave me some peace. He's faithful as Jehovah Rapha. He done healed my body. Mm. He's faithful as a shepherd. 
that leads me in still waters. He's a faithful God. He's the faithful host. He's the faithful high peace. He's a creator. He's an anchor. He's a lover. Oh, he's my savior. And he has a reward. Not just for me, but he has a reward for you too. God do not look at us as nobodies. He look at us as his children. His chosen people. And I want to look for my reward uh, when I get home. But in the meanwhile, he has rewarded me right here. Every day when I wake up, I look up. I don't go out the house without looking up first. Sometimes it's gray. Sometimes it's cloudy. Sometimes it's sunny. Sometimes it's snowing. Sometimes it's raining. But every time I look up, I see something that God has made happen. You can't beat God. Everywhere you look, you're looking at it. It is not surprising that the faithfulness of God is shown in himself wrapping himself up in the Messiah named Jesus. God says, I'm going to be so faithful, they done messed up, I'm going to bring them back to me. I'm going to wrap myself up and go down and bring them back. When the prophet Isaiah speaks of Jesus, he says that Jesus was clothed in faithfulness. John the Revelator called him the first faithful one. He is also called the faithful witness and the faithful high priest. He is our, our faithful God. He was wounded. For our transgressions. Yes, yes. He's the mighty God. His name is Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. He, will, he, he is bruised for our iniquities. And guess what? His chastisement uh, of peace is a part of us. And with his stripes, we are healed. Every time I get a pain, I say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of your stripes, Take away this pain. If you pray for yourself and remember what Jesus said, you ain't got to ask nobody. You ain't got to call a doctor. It says, Lord, you promised me in your stripes you will touch my body. Now, it might not go away like that, but it might ease your pain, and it might just go away and don't come back. But at least you went to him and tell him what he said and tell him what he done. Mm. He will keep you from all hurt, harm, and danger. He didn't say you won't go through none, but he will keep you. Hmm. We have turned our own ways, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquities of us all. He don't leave nobody out. He was oppressed, not for himself. He was afflicted, not for himself, but he opened not his mouth. Look how faithful he is. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. Now, would you do that for me? But he not, he didn't open up his mouth. And look what he did, he died. But he didn't stay dead. He rose from the grave with all power in his hands. He robbed the grave of his victory. He took the sting out of death. So don't worry about it when your turn comes. It's coming. But you got the victory. God's great faith, Emmanuel, God with us. So let everything that have breath. When you think about God, praise the Lord. Let everything, let all the people praise his name. Let all God's people praise his name. I said let all God's people praise his name forever and ever. Praise his name 
Praise Him with the mighty act. Praise Him with the exceeding joy. Praise Him with the simple. Praise Him with the trumpet. Praise Him with the dance. Praise Him with your hoop. Praise Him with your mouth. Praise Him when you're up. Praise Him when you're down. Just go ahead and praise the Lord for His faithfulness. Great is. I said great is. He is. Faithfulness. Any good? Any good? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah! 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 Thank you! Thank you, God, for being so good. Thank you for being so faithful to a dying world. God will always be faithful. He deserves all the praises, all the honor that we can give Him. Because His faithfulness. Look at your life. If He wasn't faithful to us, where would you be? Think about it. We kill ourselves. Nobody else got to kill us. But God is right there. Seeing the blood of Jesus on us. That's my child. Don't let that car hit them. Don't let that robber rob them. Pay their bills. They're my child. Build their faith up. God is faithful. And everything, not some, everything. So why not we can be faithful? Take an example from him. Don't miss church because that might be the time Jesus comes. Don't stay home, but maybe the time he comes. Through the sickness, through the storms in life, be faithful to God. God honors faithfulness. That's why you got a man and woman of God here that's faithful. Good examples. Good examples. 21 years. Faithful. To God, and that's why they got to be faithful to you.